before this video starts, I just wanted to say sorry for uh, not uploading for like a week and a half. No excuses, uh, I've been just really lazy. Please forgive me. Yo, what's up guys, Zuma here, back with another Noob to Pro video, and in this video I'm going to teach you some ways that you can practice your editing in Playground. So first things first, what you want to do is uh, you want to get the rhythm down of editing, and uh, to do that, all you got to do is just place a wall down, and simply just edit it, and then reset it, and that's it. So just edit, reset, edit, reset, and just repeat that until you have the rhythm down. It doesn't really matter what way you edit, to be honest. All you have to do is just make sure you got the rhythm down, you know. Once you feel like you got the rhythm down, you know, decently fast. It doesn't have to be insanely fast, but, you know, once you have it down, uh, the next thing I recommend is placing a pyramid on the ground. And uh, what you want to do from here is just uh, hold W, you know, don't sprint. Just hold W at first. And uh, I would, this is what I like to do. So... Edit the pyramid, and then do the back two, you know, make a backwards ramp, and then reset it. And then, while you keep on walking, you know, make a, make a forward ramp, and then reset it. While you're walking forwards. And it looks a little something like this. And that really helps with, like, getting just the rhythm down. Like, you're not really going to use this in a game, but it does help getting the rhythm down. And, uh, once you get that down, you know, obviously, you should try sprinting, too. Once you can do, once you have that down, I would recommend uh, placing multiple and space them out just one, one floor apart, and then pretty much just go down the course and see how consistent you can do it. Just like that. Once you do those three things and you, you feel like you have the rhythm down pretty well, uh, the next thing I would do is make an edit course. A lot of you guys have probably seen these. Um, a lot of people make these, but simply you just place a ramp, then a wall, and then place a ceiling above that, so it looks a little bit something like this, and then what you want to do from here, just place ceilings all the way down, pretty much as far, you want to place ceilings as long as you want the course to be, so I won't mind it just to be this long, and then next, you just want to place a wall there, leave that open, and then place a ramp, and then another wall, so basically you just want to have something that looks a little bit like this, now just run through the course and see if you can do the whole course without messing up, at, messing up or stopping once. Now the next thing you can do, if, if this is a bit too easy for you, the next thing you can do to make it a little bit harder is simply just add pyramids above where every ramp is. So you know there's a ramp here, place a pyramid, ramp there, place a pyramid, and just so on. Right. <laughs> Messed up on the last one. Next up, I would go to uh, low gravity zone or uh, whatever, whatever this place is called. There's a lot of them around the map everywhere. But uh, just build up huge one by one. You know, about ten stories. The reason you should build one of these in low grab zone is because when you're editing, you can kind of do it a lot slower and uh, it's a little bit easier because you're falling so slowly. Obviously, you pick up more speed as you fall, but it's nice. After you got after that's done you want to uh, just pretty much do the same exact thing but just not in a low gravity zone next little simple thing you can do is um, just edit a wall you know practice uh, editing like doors and stuff editing windows, you know, acting like someone's on the other side, trying to outplay them, you know? Anyways, thanks for watching. If these tips helped you out, let me know by leaving a like or commenting down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell for post notifications. 
because I upload like once a week so you know the, the notifications will really let you know when I when I upload a new video peace out okay should be good did I miss anything?